Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, doctors in Zimbabwe. My name is Divine Mafa. I live here in the United States of America, Memphis, Tennessee. It has come to me that you are having a hard time managing your life because you are unable to meet the demands of your everyday living expenses. You make very little and you make as little as $300 a month. That is very shocking and I personally had no knowledge of that. Here is my solution. I am a man of solutions and squabbling is not going to help. I could have said press on, keep pushing until you get what you want. But maybe this government at the present time is not able to meet the demands because the priorities might be in a different section. Never mind it. We have an election coming. And hey, we will make a decision on how to move forward. But in the meantime, here is what I want you to do. Do this for me. And do this for your own patient. Send me your name, your email, and your badge ID that demonstrate that you work in a government institution. For the next four months, I am going to fund you $500 times four months. If you are a medical doctor in a critical area, and only that, if you are also a healthcare practitioner in a critical area. In the meantime, I'm also working and I'm also going to work and categorize all healthcare professionals who are graduates from the University of Zimbabwe or who come from Zimbabwe, who are here in diaspora. I am working to create what is called the Diaspora Relief Fund for Medical Professionals in Zimbabwe. Yes, how about that? We have the talent. We have the love for people who are willing to help. And here's what I'm going to do with that. Every month, we are going to sustain and facilitate a supplementary fund to assist each and every ability for you to not worry about the bills and focus about the patient that looks at you as the loving angel that you are. Right. And that is what we should do as Zimbabweans. Step up for each other. You know, the business of blaming each other, I could have said, push on, brother. Push on until you get what you want. But you know, as a doctor, you swore an oath to help your patient. And these patients right now are dying. And I am heartbroken. And I cannot, in good conscience, encourage that. God are the days when I remember we used to run the streets of Harare demanding an increase in civil pay. Uh, I understand those days. And uh, we never got anywhere with it. And, and I don't think you will get anywhere with this. Uh, no matter what promise you will get, you know, doctors are not a priority. You are not in a, a, a special need that the government might necessarily look at as important at this time. Yes, I said it. You are not a priority right now. You know, you, you don't hold a gun. You don't work for the police i'm not hoping that i'm divisive with this message but i am looking at the evidence that a doctor is making 300 dollars. that is insane you know in america doctors are making an upward of 200 to an excess of a million dollars a year in canada 455,000 euro dollars that they make canadian dollars you know I have very little words, and I'm a man of action. What I need is send me your email at incisor at 